hello again everyone I have another Zentangle pattern for us here today and this one is called OB Shield let's go ahead and take a look we're going to start this one off by drawing a circle and then on either side of that circle draw a C shape but we're not going to go all the way around on this one we're going to leave a gap at the top and at the bottom okay now from the very top of the circle let's go out about an inch and a half two inches it doesn't have to be exact and just make a dot we're going to do the same thing Try and be about the same distance on the bottom. Okay, from this point here of your C shape, we're going to draw a straight line up to that point and again here. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the other end. Straight line to the point. Okay, now the next step is really not hard. Let's see, there we go. Okay, from this point where you, your straight line meets your C shape, let's draw a line out and around into kind of a curl. And do one on the other side and try and try and be about the same size. And then let's come down to the other side of the seat of your curve here where it meets a straight line and do the same thing. And on the other side. In between these curls, we're just going to draw a series of oh, elongated half ovals, or I don't know what you would want to call these. Just like that. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right. In the next step, <clears throat> we made these curls here that came out like this. And this is actually going to become almost like a scroll. And the, way, the way we do that is from the outside of this curl, you're going to draw a straight line up to the point. And also from the very inside of that curl, we'll go up. And then staying parallel in this direction, from right here, we're just going to draw a short line. And you can see how that makes it kind of look like a scroll. Let's go to the other side and do the same thing. From here up to the point, and from the outside of the curl up to the point. And then staying parallel with this line, we draw that. Now we can do it on the other end as well. From the outside of the curl, the point and from the inside to the point and then our little short line and there we go now we're 
ready to do a little bit of shading and I don't think I'm going to do too much on this. Where the inside of the curl is, I think that would be a little bit dark there. And I'll do just a little bit here. You know, I think, since I was supposed to be kind of of a rounded scroll type <clears throat> drawing, I'm going to give it just a little shade on the outside, and that will make it kind of look more round. Here we have a completed pattern OB shield. And now I have no idea what the OB stands for, but it's a nice little pattern. Well, I hope you'll come back later to today and I'll try and give you one more pattern yet today. See you then.